Hello and welcome back to Blood 2, The Chosen. We just try to get these guys to... Here we go. Yes. Get some of this. So, uh, in the interim between last episode and this one, uh, I went and sought advice from uh, someone who is much more knowledgeable about this game than I am, and also on the Blood 2 wiki, and I found out that uh, these secondary fires are actually uh, not so much of a bad thing. Um, so we sort of showed it off a little bit there. But basically, what I thought was a single shot on the Uzi is actually just a slow firing, uh, better version of uh, the Uzi in general. So um, I'll try and be making use of that more often. And obviously, uh, a lot of the guns have secondary modes, uh, pretty much all of them actually. So I want to try and use them in a way that is, uh, I guess, uh, effective and also useful. And I'm learning, trying to learn the pattern of these uh, rocket guys now. They're pretty OP, but I think if I try and remember that they shoot three at a time and then they have a little pause, then I might be able to uh, win, <laughs> at least in theory. So uh, the best advice I got was uh, to actually, you know, uh, think about what guns you're using in which situations, uh, which is kind of a useful thing uh, to know, I guess. I'm probably going to die here. No? Okay. So um, yeah, use the right gun in the right situation, which sounds uh, like good advice, but it sounds like an obvious thing to do, but it's not something I was doing, probably, like, um... Ah, uh, I hear spiders. You know what that means? We gotta get the bug buster out here. Because I figured out, on my own actually, that this is an insta-kill against uh, any uh, crawling bug that we might come across. So the bug, the tube of bug paste actually insta-kills bugs, but we've, um, caught a snag on a corner here. Gee, I wonder who that glove could belong to. I'm sure you'll be scratching your heads on that one for a while. Anyway, there's this massive giant fuck you trap coming up here, uh, which is pretty hard, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this properly. There's a rocker guy in there, and then more rocker guys spawn out here, and he's charging me, holy shit. Uh, nope. Right, so... This level, uh, unfortunately, isn't quite as uh, blind as I would like to play it because I've been uh, suffering many, many crash problems. Uh, the game just doesn't like to run, <laughs> basically. And uh, this voodoo doll ain't doing much. I'm finding the voodoo doll pretty useless, to be honest. So we'll try and use the op fire on the flare gun here, which I feel is probably more useful than using a Kimbo. Because what it does is it launches about eight flares at once, and they all explode on impact, rather than causing incremental drain damage. So, oh fuck. Oh great, yeah, just shoot me through a corner, that's, that's good. So it's probably more useful to me to run around with only one flare gun. Uh, just to be able to make use of this secondary fire. It does use a lot of ammo though. It uses eight flares per shot. But I feel like it's probably the only uh, effective way of using the gun. So I'm just going to have to avoid all the guys outside because if I go out there they are going to absolutely destroy my face. And I hear one of those aliens down here. Alright, he's run down there. Let's try and make use of this secondary fire so you can see what it's all about.
It's uh, kind of like the assault rifle, I guess, in the way that it works. But I feel like it probably does more damage. I'm not sure if that's fact or not. That's just how it feels to me. Because the assault rifle, while uh, no recoil and uh, pretty good accuracy and range, uh, it actually does really terrible damage. But anyway, you're going to have to believe me that there's a life seed down here. I know you can't see shit. I can't see shit either. <laughs> but there it is, a life seed, which will come in real handy. So I feel like uh, if just because of their actual uh, accuracy, the Berettas are probably a uh, worthwhile uh, weapon to have on hand. Because another thing I learned is that there is some amount of carrying capacity in this game. There are more guns than the 10 we are currently holding on our person right now. Uh, so that means along with uh, having to drop guns for Akimbo... Oh shit, I hear spiders. Uh, we are also going to have to drop weapons in the future when we find one that we can't pick up. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to deal with these spiders top priority because, well, basically, a spider will jump onto your face, much like the, uh, the eels in the water, only I don't know how to get them off my face once they're attached, so... <laughs> Uh, it is basically an in, uh, not an instant kill, but a very slow-winded death. And uh, here we're going to utilize another tactic that I learned in that the uh, the knife actually has a secondary fire, which I can use to stun lock these poor mofos. Um, and uh, due to all this amazing uh, gameplay that we're seeing here, I'm actually full on armor, and for all my complaining, I don't actually need any more armor, but I'm just going to shoot this dude because that's taking far too long. So we move on to another sewer level. Yippee! Right, so we've got another objective here, and we just uh, basically got to move through the sewer, so... It's even textured the exact same way as the last one we were in, which is a really great thing. <laughs> Holy shit. And I love uh, love it when FPS just start you in a level with a fucking dude in your face. That's really great. We're going to kite this guy out here. Into an area that's more suitable for fighting in. See, how much better am I getting at this? And look down there, there's some uh, crazy zombies. And uh, we can't actually break through these grates, so I guess they're just cosmetic. And glorious, glorious ammunition here. So we're probably uh, safe to use the shotguns for a bit longer. They do burn through so much ammo, though. I really uh, enjoy how they one-shot... Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> I was going to say I enjoy how they one-shot these uh, monsters, but it actually did. So, I guess it's a bit of a uh, RNG-based thing. Damage in this game, I don't know. It feels RNG-based a lot of the time, because... Sometimes uh, enemies just go down really easily, and other times they take a fucking age. But <laughs> I guess there's nothing I can do about that. I really wish, though, that they set a goddamn uh, awareness timer on these hit scan guys, because they just take, like half a millisecond to see you before they start shooting so you go up a ladder or you walk around the corner you're already being shot before you know anyone's even there and up there is some goddamn snipers so well not uh, not literal snipers but you know. 
we're going to have to uh, watch out for them. Or uh, I'm going to have a head full of bullets, so if I could possibly jump over here, it was working before. Because uh, I do kind of want the ammo that they have. Here we go. Thank you. And spiders. So we'll try and deal with this in the best way possible. And that is to spray them with green goo. Spiders are probably the most threatening enemy in this game to this point. Because uh, they just attach to your face and never let go. That uh, soundtrack coming in scared me a bit there. But here we go, we'll try and get the uh, drop on these guys, but fuck. Uh, the knockback kicked him back into the wall there, so I'm going to have a bit of trouble with him later. <laughs> and come on, stick your arm out. Better, but not by much. Yeah, good work. So yeah, it's basically trial... Oh, he's still got a shot on me there. It's basically trial and error gameplay, really, because there's no way of you knowing that there's fucking guys on either side of you here other than to walk down this freaking catwalk and be peppered with holes from both sides and then you reload the game and you figure out a way to do it no shit spider 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 fuck okay I managed to get it off my face I don't know how I just sort of spaz out and start uh, throwing um, <laughs> key presses everywhere uh, whatever that means, but... <clears throat> there you go. Let's, uh... Oh, there's one glitched in the wall there. Uh... <laughs> and I hear another one. So I feel like spiders in Blood 1 were a lot easier to avoid and a lot less threatening. <laughs> oh, here we go. Fucking die. Thank you very much. And that is a very large gun that man is holding, and Jesus! He just stuck it right in my face there, and blasted hot rockets all over me. Mmm, <laughs> it's making me hard, I don't know about you just listening to that. Uh, fan fiction there, I guess you could call it. And... Fuck! Secondary fire on a knife, huh? Who would have thought? It's pretty effective, at least... Whoa, shit. Okay. Now, I'm sure... Fucking hell, this guy's gone nuts. Christ, he's... He's charging. I thought this dude here dropped a fucking rocket launcher, but... He didn't do it this time. I want to... Oh, god damn it. See, last time this dude dropped his uh, giant gun, and you could pick it up, but he didn't do it this time, so this is going to be a bit harder to deal with. Doesn't look like he's got it. But the area of effect on these fucking rockets is so mad. You saw before, they can completely disintegrate you through walls, but... I'm really pissed about this guy not having a rocket launcher, because that is a new gun. Uh, so I guess, I hope, we'll be seeing it later. And we're now in the meatpacking plant, so that was a short sewer level, thank gosh. Stop. 
Oh, fucking wizards. There we go. As always, the shotguns making uh, better work of enemies than pretty much anything else in the game. So we'll just use our medkit here, and for some reason I can't jump on this truck. And uh, none of these actually explode, but some ammo will do me well. And what's this? It's also a crate that can't blow up. Good stuff. Alright. So I uh, wonder if we can jump up here. No. No. Can't jump on anything in this place. Oh, god damn it. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> I'm sure it... Oh, Christ. Fuck off. So we're going to have to use the rest of our med kit here. That was short-lived. What's that? It's a life seed by the look of things. Oh, shit. The sniper rifle is basically the best weapon in this game, seriously. Like, I don't even know what I would do if there weren't a sniper rifle, though to be honest they probably uh, would not be putting monsters in these kinds of places if there weren't a sniper rifle, so <laughs> that's sort of a uh, catch-22 there. This bloody dude, I just know he's going to jump onto my face. Oh, there we go. Whoa, shit, there he is. Fuck! And they do so much damage. It is so fucking mad how much damage they do. God damn it, buddy, quit strafing. What is he doing? Does he think this is a circus or something? No, son, the only circus here is my commentary. <laughs> so... If we could possibly find a way to get this life seed, that would be good. Yeah, you can die at any time, you know. The good old pig sticker. And spiders. Oh, great. You know what I love? Spiders. Small enemies that are hard to see with uh, an OP attack <laughs> that is hard to avoid is just the uh, best kind of monster ever created. And, uh, oh, well, these night vision goggles aren't too good. What's the point of this? Turns your vision green, yeah, for sure, but you can't actually see any better than if you didn't have them on. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, great. So I think we're better off with the uh, torch in this case. Wow. Well, if someone could explain to me the point of them night vision goggles, that'd be good. But I just know this spider's gonna be raining hell on my face. God damn it. Get off my head. Oh, motherfucker! And you can see we clip through the world when a spider jumps on our face, so that's really great. Uh, we still have the eye, not sure what that does. Um, we're gonna use it at some point, I'm sure, but not right now, because if it is, uh, like, the best weapon in the game or something, I don't really want to waste it. But I can see the shadow of the spider here, and I just would like to be able to kill it before going around that corner. Hopefully that worked. Ah, oh, yeah, we seem to have killed something. But I still hear him. Oh, there he is. And there's still more around here somewhere. There he is. Oi, come back. God damn it, what is this? <laughs> Get squirted by my green goo, you fucker. Oh, 
Oh shit! I can still hear more. Man, Monolith think they're a laugh hiding these things everywhere. I can't believe how useful this bug gun actually is at taking out spiders. So what have we got here? Some kind of platforming, I guess? Wonder if we can jump over... Well, there's a window over there, and we can run along this pipe. Oh, maybe this is how we can get that life seed. So now we gotta jump down here, maybe? Oh, Necro Ward. Okay, that's cool. And a life seed. So... I wonder if there's been secrets in every level and I just haven't noticed because I'm stupid. Because that condemned building level, I really could have used a fucking uh, Necro Ward, I reckon. Great, well something spawned there. And I don't really want to uh, turn the corner because... <laughs> I know I'm just going to be killed. And, uh, great. My Skype overlay just completely fucking up the video here, probably. So, I apologize for that. Wizards. Always with the wizards. Oh, he's dead already. Man, sometimes it just works and sometimes it doesn't. Alright, more bug ammo, a... what's this? Ah, the howitzer, yeah, this is the rocket launcher I was talking about before, that big ass gun. So, what I was, like how I was saying before, we gotta drop something for this, so... I'll drop the assault rifle for now, cause we got enough guns that use the SHIT! That use the same ammo. So, we can probably do without it for now. Ow! God damn it. Oh, fuck off with that. Okay, cool. So, I guess this is probably it for this video. Unless I can get in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll double back around to here. Where have we got to go? Through the boxes, I guess. Um. Alright, now we need to jump up here, I suppose. I do love how good Caleb actually is at fucking jumping. Really helpful. Oh crap, there's a dude up here. Alright. I think this was a success. We're doing alright at this game now. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know what gun to use. Shotguns, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.